the time of waiting, no man can pinpoint. All right, all right. But according to Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, it lets us know that there is a time. Come on, somebody say, there is a time for everything. And, 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 and every season, for every activity under the heaven, there is a time. There is a time that God's going to bless you. There is a time that God is going to gift you. There is a time that God's going to slap an anointing on you. There going to give you a job, cause your money to flow again. There is a time for your business to start and flourish. There is a time. But somebody say you're going to have to wait and you're going to have to wait patiently. You cannot be anxious in this season. If God showed you in a vision that he was going to give you something, you're going to have to wait for it. We had to wait for this church to look the way it looked. Are you hearing me? But we held on to the vision. We held on to what we saw. When we closed our eyes, we saw purple cheers. Are you hearing me? When we closed our eyes, we saw men and women, boys and girls in this sanctuary. When we closed our eyes, we saw a praise team that we didn't have. We saw a drummer that we didn't have. When we closed our eyes, God made the vision clear. All right, all right. Your vision ought to become like artwork. You become the owner before you even purchase it. Come on. Before it even manifests, it's yours. Come on, you ever just claim something you didn't even have? Come on. I, I know the check in the mail, but it's mine, boo. Come on. Uh, Y'all be talking about my hands itching now. Uh, uh, God getting ready to bless me. Why? Because you believe the vision. You believe it before it came to you. So we are men and women of vision in this season. And we're going to have to be active. We're going to have to begin to work. We want this thing to come to pass. Are you hearing me? Somebody say, it will come to pass if you work it. Glory to God. Women of vision. God said, get ready. Get ready. And God is allowing you to start all over again. Yes, thank you, God. All over, because it was cloudy the first time. Yes. Uh -huh. Some of you miscarriage the first time. Yes. Come on. Yes. You dropped the baby the first time. Yes. You lost interest in it the first time. Yes. Come on. You ran well, but something hindered you the first time. Come on. But somebody say, I'm grabbing the vision again, and I'm going to run with the vision. Are you here? I'm going to start all over with the vision. Go over to God. Because God gave it to me. Yes, yes, he did. And in this season, you want to keep a hush hush about it. Sometimes we talk too much. We talk about the vision before it is fully manifested. Because see, what you don't understand is the vision that God gave you is not only going to give him some glory. But it's going to help the people, yeah. glory to God, yes. that he's going to put in your life. Yes. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. You're going to be blessed behind it. But there are some other people that are going to be blessed behind it as well. Yes. Right. And if you glory to God. And see, in this season, we're dealing with a blocked spirit. Yes. We're dealing with a spirit that wants to block the saints of God. Yes. And wants to stop them from receiving what God said is already there. Yes. And if we begin to talk too much, if we begin to release it out into the atmosphere, the blocker catches it and brings discouragement to us. Somebody say, get the blocker out the way. You better get that blocker out your way. Glory to God. Don't you know that he's in your finances? Glory to God. And it's a wonder how come you don't have no money in your pocket. How come as soon as you get your paycheck, it's all gone because of the blocker. But we're going to move the blocker out of the way tonight. Is it going?
this season. No more procrastination. No more procrastination. You're going to have to just step out. You're going to have to step. You're going to have to be like Ruth. Come on. All right. Well, how they going to treat me when I get there? I wonder if they going to like me. How they, how they really, 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 really treat you? Come on. You know, before we go somewhere, we, we want to know how things are. You got to have a plan and a strategy. Because everywhere you go, the enemy's going to be there. Everywhere you go, somebody ain't going to like you. Come on. Everywhere you go, somebody going to lie on you and talk about you. Are you hear me? Somebody say, but I got to get a strategy going on right now. I got to get a plan of how I'm going to do this thing. How I'm going to slide in. Glory to God. And I'm going to slide out. Glory to God. Ruth has had a plan. She had to have a, a strategy. Are you hearing me? She wasn't concerned about the kind of warfare that she was going to have to go through. But what she was concerned about more than anything, what she said, I want your God to be my God and your people to be my people, is how will the two link up? Come on. How are we going to work together? Come on. Can we all just get along, God? I don't, I don't want to fight with nobody. I just want to get along with everybody. Are you hearing me? Hold on to the vision and don't let it go. Everybody stand to their feet. Y'all ain't clapping like y'all got no vision. you. You're in the place and you're in the position on the right day and at the right time when favor finds you. And the individual that God uses to favor you, watch this, can pick you up out of your humble place and set you in a high place. Because I saw myself years ago in a vision, being saved. I saw myself years ago in a vision, being at this pulpit. But that was not my beginning. My beginning was out here. My beginning was serving you all. My beginning was serving those out there in the streets. Are you hearing me? That was, that was my beginning. And as I just continued to be obedient to God, then I slowly, slowly made my way up here. But I held on to the vision. See, you don't know God's thoughts. You don't know God's ways. You don't know what he's really planning out for your life. You just trust him to do the right thing by faith. And you let him carry you. Just like you carry your baby. You let God carry you. Glory to God. Bring that baby here. Bring her here. Right there in the blue jean jacket. Bring her here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There's a press in your spirit, daughter. saying I feel the desperateness on the inside of you but God is saying in a soft voice just wait and because you came here on tonight God is going to allow it to manifest itself glory to God before their very eyes 